today I'm going to give you a lesson on uh, my most popular cover on my channel right now. Um, we're going to take a look at how to play Daughtry's Drown in You. Um, a lot of people think that this song was written for uh, Batman, um, the last, um, for The Dark Knight Rises. But in reality, this song was actually written for the Batman Arkham City video game. Um, so let's dive into this. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can grab the tab. So we're going to be tuned to drop D. So it's just going to be in standard tuning. Just take your low E string, tune it down a whole step to master your open D. Let's start out. Let's start out with that intro, which is going to be the part of the verse. It's going to sound something like this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our ring finger, put it on the seventh fret of the G, and you're going to take your middle finger, put it on the sixth fret on the B. And we're going to have the high E string open. And you're going to pick it like... Now the picking pattern, you're going to go... You're going to hit the D string. You're going to go D. G string. And then pick across one, two, three. Twice. So it would be this. twice. So you do it twice with the intro and you're going to do it one, then we get to the verse, it's going to, um, you're going to do that again. Just once though, then we have this. That is going to, we're going to grab the third fret on the low, on the A string. Hit the 5th fret on the G, and then hit the 5th fret on the B. So, then down to the 1st fret on the A, and I'm going to bar cross the 3rd fret of the G and the B, and we're going to pick, hit the 5th string, and then 3, 2, 3. So it would be this. do that whole thing three times. It was like... So that is the fifth fret of the low E and the A string with your ring and pinky. And this is gonna be kind of a tricky thing for some of you. It's gonna be we're gonna grab do a little bar at the third fret on the B and the high E. While you're holding this chord and you're gonna pick we're gonna pick sixth string, fifth, then hit the G string. And then two, one, and then back down to the G. So it was like, then you're going to move it down to this F chord. Now we're going to add the second fret of the G. And you're going to pick the same way. And that's when the distortion comes in. When the distortion comes in, you're going to hit the second fret on the low E, and then hit open. When the whole band comes in, 
You're going to do open each time when you repeat it. And do it three times. And then we have, this is going to be the pre-chorus, and so just palm you the fifth fret. And up to the seventh fret. You're going to palm it a couple times and then hit it again open. So it's like... And then we have a little line that takes us to the chorus is that is low E string, zero, two, three with the vibrato, and then back to the open E. And that takes us to the chorus, so it sounds something like this. Start with a B flat power chord on the first fret of the A. Then move up two frets to C5. And then hit open. Do it three times. But the third time you go through that, those same chords again, but what, instead of holding on to that open, we go back to C. It's like... Then B, back to B flat. Back to C. And then we have a little uh, line. That's just 3, 5 on the A string, palmated to the 3rd fret of the D, back to the 5th fret of the A. So, and that's the main chorus. Then we have, after the first chorus, we have this part. So that's just going to be palmating the bottom three strings. You're going to palmate it four times. Then we're going to grab an octave chord on the eighth fret of the A. Do that twice. But the third time through, you only hit the bottom three strings once and then hit the octave. So it's like. You're going to do the exact same palmony rhythm on the 7th fret. Then up to the 10th fret. Back to 8. And then we're going to end with... That's just a hammer-on from 6 to 7 on the D three times. Now on the tab, it's on the D string. But you could do it on the A string, 11 to hammer on to 12. It's the same notes, wherever you want to do it. In. Up to there, you repeat those parts. But coming out of that tag at the end of the chorus, that takes us to the bridge, which is going to sound something like this. to three. Then you're gonna do the you're gonna do that little breakdown session just like we did at the uh, in that post chorus. We're only gonna do the first two octaves. The second half is gonna go five th two three, one, and then up to seven. And that takes it to the 
next part. And then there's the guitar solo. Um, but the rhythm guitar underneath is going to do the chorus. <laughs> But the last beat chorus, you're just gonna palm it on the fifth fret, and then you're back. You're gonna do the entire chorus twice, and then the out, and then to end the song, you're gonna do that post-chorus section again. That's pretty much drowning you. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for the tab so you can um, so you can get a better visual interpretation of this song in terms of the layout. And that's pretty much drowning you. Good luck.